Football season's here. Join us on Auburn Unleashed. I'm Adam Clayton. I'm Jim Patton. And we're going to be having great Auburn guests and going over football season, I guess, a review. Yeah, we'll be reviewing the games, having guests, uh, probably do some from the Letterman Club right there at the stadium. We hope you all all listen to our podcast. And also from the Over the Mountain Touchdown Club. So hope you can join us. Join us on iTunes or your favorite podcasting app. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday the 11th of October. I'm James Spann getting set for a rain-free weekend next week. Probably some rain when it arrives, the timing, how much, a bit of a forecast challenge. Let's go in there and take a look at the uh, big picture this morning. This is the water vapor satellite view across the fruited plain, and you can see a very intense storm that is lifting out of the Rockies, headed up toward Canada. Got the old upper low still hanging around uh, the east coast and a large upper high over the western gulf. And uh, around here, we're just going to stay uh, away from all of the storms, and we'll be in good shape through the weekend. Pretty cold in the west behind that trough. Uh, temperatures out there in the 30s and 40s. Around here, we're starting off the day mostly in the 50s, although a couple of spots up in northeast Alabama have hit the upper 40s. Feels very good. And with dry air, we'll warm up effectively. The high today should be around 80. Watch warning map. Got some wind issues over the uh, upper plains with that system coming out of the Rockies. And fog problems for almost all of Mississippi, the Alabama Gulf Coast and up into the Mid-South around Memphis. Those are dense fog advisories. The county's in gray. Later today, some risk of severe weather near the Canadian border with the system lifting out of the Rockies. There'll be a band of trailing uh, storms, but that will not affect us. And then tomorrow, just low in 5% severe weather possibilities for a large part of North Texas, South Oklahoma, parts of Arkansas. Rain, forget about it. This, is, this carries us through Wednesday morning of next week, and this shows nothing here. Uh, just beyond this, we'll probably see some rain uh, later in the day, Wednesday or Wednesday night, but I get the idea it's probably not going to be a big rain event. And so far, October is holding true. This is a uh, the driest month of the year, and sure enough, we've had uh, some pretty long dry spells here. Weather in the tropics, still watching the wave in the eastern Atlantic, still disorganized. The NHC guys have that as a 40% chance of developing in the Inset Ensemble members just kind of leave, leave it meandering around in the middle of nowhere. And again, if that thing gets a name, it will be Lorenzo, but it should not affect any landmass. But boy, this is the headline here. This is a cyclone in the Bay of Bengal. This is on the other side of the planet. This is a Cyclone Palin. And that thing is coming up on uh, southeast India. And, and this is basically the equivalent of a Category 4 or 5 hurricane. This could be a humanitarian crisis. That will be coming inland here within the next uh, 36, 48 hours. And I'm afraid there will be vast loss of life with this uh, over there. So that's a huge, huge storm that will be a big, big story. Let's take a look at the GFS, the Global Forecast System. This is valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon at 500 millibars. There's the vigorous storm coming out of the Rockies, lifting north up toward Canada. Still got the upper low on the Atlantic coast, and below that, dry air, sunny day, the high around 80. Man, look at that low uh, over South Dakota, 991 millibars. Winds will be screaming around that. But thankfully for our friends in South Dakota, it's not cold enough for snow this time. It'll be just rain. You know, they had the uh, historic blizzard a week ago. They sure don't need another one, and this will be mostly rain for them. Tomorrow, that low is up in Canada. Down below that, a trailing front, producing maybe a few showers for Chicago, Little Rock, and Houston. But around here, a dry day to start the weekend. Highs at or just over 80. Uh, the, the GFS is too warm. The NAM has a high of 80, and I think that's closer to being correct. Still got the uh, onshore flow over the middle Atlantic coast region, still raining around Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. They've had kind of a lousy week. They'll have a wet weekend as well. And this is Sunday. The front just kind of fizzles out north and west of the state. Still raining in Texas, Louisiana, Shreveport, Dallas, Fort Worth. But around here, Sunday should be a dry day with low 80s. Here's Monday of next week. A new trough back in the west. Down below that, a new surface low on the lee of the Rockies, producing more rain and wind for the Great Plains. But Alabama just stays dry. Again, uh, the high... Oh, probably around 80, and this is Tuesday. Surface low is near Des Moines with a trailing front. 
Same thing for us. We're rain-free. Wednesday, the front begins to ease in here late in the day. And this would suggest a chance of rain Wednesday afternoon or Wednesday night. But I don't think it rains a whole lot as the main dynamic support is lifting north. The moisture supply is not all that deep. Uh, this is Thursday. The front is by, and you can see how the, the rain just kind of fades away on the southern end of that front. And a week from today, uh, general troughing over the eastern half of the nation and down below that. That'd be a pretty cool air mass if this is right. Uh, the high would be in the uh, probably upper 60s and lows in the 40s, which will feel great. That'll be some really good October weather there. But the Europeans still not in good agreement. Uh, this is the European Thursday, and it's got the band of showers coming in here during the day Thursday. It's almost, uh, what, 18 hours slower than the GFS. And then Friday, it brings in uh, somewhat cooler and drier air, but it's not as cool as the GFS. So we'll have to adjust the timing on those showers. But clearly, Wednesday, Wednesday night, or maybe Thursday, we'll get some rain next week, but probably not very much. Hey, cold weather fans, check this out. This is October 24th coming off the GFS. Ooh, that is a uh, deep trough with uh, some polar connections. And ooh, man, ooh, goodness. Come on, that's a 1046 millibar high. Thickness found used down to 5160 over the upper plains. That is brutally cold for October. Big old batch of rain and storms coming in here. A couple of days later, October the 26th, cold air settles in, 540 line down to Chattanooga. And that would suggest temperatures uh, 20 degrees below average here. Maybe 20 to 30 degrees below average. And this is this would get us like you know, highs in the, in the 50s and lows in the 20s. Wow. Now, this is absolute voodoo here. Pure speculation, but... For the cold weather fans, they always like to see colored maps like that as we get deeper in the season. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Uh, I will be uh, out of pocket this afternoon doing live weather at Boo at the Zoo. So my next video will be Monday morning at 7. Brian Peters, the man that looks like Colonel Sanders. We'll have the updates here tomorrow and Sunday. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and God bless.